Okay, this is an audio amplifier from Dynatech, which is model SCS001. Uh, but I don't know the issue is the owner just said it has an issue since I do not know how severe the problems is I don't want to at this point in time directly connect to the wire outlet and create some more problems So I will go gentle and slow. Okay at this point in time. I can give power to this amplifier I find still risky to directly connect this to the power outlet here So in order to do that, I'll use this test lamp I'll connect this with test lamp the test lamp will go here our first turn off everything okay what this does is it can limit the current now I'm sure that it is not the power cable and it is not the switch that is the problem it is the internal circuit inside the amplifier that is the culprit so uh, which is why I want to limit the current and prevent further damage. It can, it is not 100% sure, uh, it is not 100% efficient, but to some extent it can provide uh, protection against damages. Okay, so I'll turn the system on, turn it on, I'll turn it on. Okay, have you seen the power light has been lit up? Nothing is smelling here. So at this point in time, we are sure that the amplifier is receiving power. I suspect the damage is not that serious. So let's do further troubleshooting here, okay? Okay, if you look at the back of the amplifier, it has two input terminals, one for the left and one for the right. That is the input. Okay. Okay, this is the other end of the input cable. What I'm going to do is I will turn on the system. Okay, we have LEDs here. This is the power on indicator LED light. We have LED here. What this does is it indicates an incoming signal. So what I'm going to do is I will touch the end of this terminal. If I touch, what will happen? Let's see. Oops, there is no indication here. This indicates that signal is not going through the amplifier for processing and amplify for bigger <coughs> outputs. So it has no input, so to say. Now I know that this amplifier has an input problem. Okay, I have unscrewed all the screws here. And let's see what is inside this amplifier. Now input signals from external sources such as mobile phones or mixing console is going to reach to the amplifier via the types of cable that I'm holding right now. This is a stereo input audio cable. Any cable that is designed for the purpose can do the job then. So the input signals coming from external sources are going to be processed by the input port there. So the process input signal is then sent by the input port to the gain control board via these two cable. See this two cable is directly uh, connected to gain control board there. What this uh, volume or gain control board does is depending on how high or how low we adjust the volume knob, the signal is then directly sent through the main circuit board via this two cable. This is the main input cable for the main board coming from the volume control board here. Oh, I can spot some bond component as I explained. Let's look at there. That means that there is over voltage problem. Over voltage means over current problem, which is why the two resistors could not handle that high currents and basically they have been cooked. So I need to remove this board and figure out what the problem is. Just figure out how the two resistor binds up. It's not a current failure, it's not a voltage problem. I'll show you. 
Look at that. How can this... Is this needle or something? How can it find its way underneath the boot? You can even see black residues, which is a byproduct of fire, maybe. I think so. So these things is sorting out components and creating extra problems. I hope you can see the bond components right there. Those are resistors. One right here and the other one here. So I'll desolder the two components and see if I can replace or find any replacement for them. Right, I have desoldered the bond component here. This one is totally burned up already. The other one is uh, halfway burned. And this is a replacement for the two. They are 100 ohms. How to calculate resistor code is, uh, it is in 12 standard and physics textbook. Okay. Okay, I have replaced the two resistors, but it is still a very bad idea to connect everything back together. The neighboring components might have failed in some case, but we might not realize visually. So, I have to test first the other components and see if there are still problems. If not, this can happen. My meter is set to diode mode. I find some diodes. These are actually a general diodes which are the neighboring components for the two burn components so i'm going to ch check the general diode whether if they are good or bad this is visually this is black but general diode does not fail often oh this looks like it has a problem let me test the other way around there is no reading shown by my meter, so I expect this general diet has failed. Here we go. Okay. okay, this is the diode, specifically a general diode, having the symbol as highlighted here, which has been just taken out from the board. So, the working principle of a diode is that it acts like a valve control for the flow of electrons allowing the flow of electrons in one direction but restricting it to the other direction so we all know the direction of flow of electrons forget about the conventional current flow direction we all know that electrons flows towards positives here in this case electron has to move towards this direction from left to right so i will test whether that condition is made with this device or not just thing is this the black one is the electrons and take the red probe as the protons the positive side so what will basically happen is if i connect these two terminals see it has a direct connection that means that it does not restrict the flow of current the same way as a short circuit now i'll flip the probes in this condition also, the device does not restrict the flow of electrons as indicated by the meter. It does not restrict the flow of electrons in either side of in, in, in either direction. So this device is no longer functioning as it should be. So I'm going to find another replacement. It will be clear once we got the good one and see the results of the test. okay this is the good one so i'm going to probe as indicated by the meter it allows the flow of current towards this direction from left to right see the minus electrons will flow from negative to the positive terminal 
okay so I'm going to flip the probe here but in this case the meter says that there is no flow of electron this device is functioning as it should be allowing the flow of electrons in this direction but restricted it towards the opposite direction see it restricted towards the opposite direction it allows the flow of electrons from cathode to anode so this is a functioning device so I will install it oh, when you're about to install remember that diodes are directional as you can see from the di diagram there it has a white bands at one end and blank at the other so they are directional make sure you are correct with that direction so white bands is to get hot remember that okay i have the diode installed but now i'm still curious if i can find any other a field component. So I'll check the board one by one. Oh, here we have one transistor is 40. See, I'll demonstrate to you. Look at that. It is directly sorted. All the three pins are directly sorted. So I flip over the board and show you. This is a transistor that we know is 40. See, it has three legs. It is directly sorted. Listen to the beep. See. So this is also a three pin tr transistor. See, and there is no beeping with the good one. But this one definitely is beeping. So this indicates clearly that this transistor is sorted. I'll take it out. Okay. Okay, I have laid down the 40 transistor at the right end. This is a replacement for the 40 one. This is good one and this is the 40 one. But as you can see, their sizes are different and even the numbers are different. But their working condition and their principle and the work that they do are the same. That's why it's not a problem to use them together. So now I'll show you why this one is faulty and this one is uh, still in good condition. To do that, let's give the terminals a simple name of, let's say this is 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, okay. So like the diode testing section, imagine that the black lead is the electrons and the red lead is the protons. So electron all will always want to move towards the positive. The good transistor is supposed to allow the flow of electrons from terminal 1 to terminal 2 let's check you see the reading indicates that it allows the flow of electrons from terminal 1 to terminal 2 but not the other way around see there's nothing and it also sub it also supposed to conduct electrons from terminal 2 1 2 3 but not the other way around you see this is good condition but the 41 let's see Nice and conduct from 1 to 2. Let's check the other way around. Oh. You see? It conducts in any direction. So basically, this transistor is like a short circuit. So since this guy here has greater width than its neighbor, so I rotate one of its neighbor 90 degrees so that everything fits perfectly fine. See how clean it is. Okay, the boat is inside the case now. What leave now is to turn it on once and to see if it's been fixed or not. I'll shoot it near so that if in case there is fire or explosion, you can hear and see it nicely on. So let me turn it on. Hope nothing blows up. One, two. Oops. There's no smoke anywhere. Fan is happily spinning. Now I'll turn the volume up and touch the audio input jack to see if there is indication of incoming signal. Oops. 
Oh yes, we have signal now. So the amplifier is finally at work now. Okay, this guy is fixed and now I can give it away to the owners. And I really love this guy. This guy has been my friend for since the past 4 or 5 years maybe. I bought it from Amazon. And it has tons of functions. You can measure AC voltage, DC voltage, capacitance, resistance, continuity, diode, transistors, frequency, both AC and DC, ampere and current, temperature and NCV. You can measure both DC and AC current maximum to 10 ampere. So if you're an electrical hobbyist but you don't have one of these, as soon as possible thank you those who are watching my video please like share subscribe watch and watch and watch again and again please 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 support me in the future thank you